A first warning weather day here in Western Mass due to extreme cold, and that looks to linger through tonight, but start to ease as soon as tomorrow afternoon. We have beautiful blue skies out there right now as we look out from our log cabin sky cam. Sun getting ready to set. You can clearly see by looking at the temps. We are the cold spot today. Uh, New England dealing with the coldest air mass across the country, and that cold even dipping into the mid-Atlantic. Everybody seeing below normal temperatures, uh, but it's a little extreme, especially across northern New England today. Now, the good news is all the wind chill advisory have been canceled today and we're not expecting any more to be issued for tonight. So even across the hills, even though wind chills will likely linger below zero throughout the night, they're not going to be as extreme as last night. So we're not going to see those 20 and 25 below zero wind chills. They will uh, still again hover close to freezing. Now as we go through the rest of this week, we're not going to be dealing with that extreme cold. But it does return Friday night into the start of the weekend and in fact, Saturday morning could actually be worse than what we dealt with this morning. This is for the Springfield Chicopee area. So there's the potential that we do get wind chill advisories that get extended even into the valley by Friday night into uh, Saturday morning. Now we're watching two coastal storms this week and the first one will be moving off the coast Thursday night. By Friday, this thing is going to be passing due east of us and it intensifies rapidly. This could actually become a bomb cyclone uh, where it drops a certain amount of pressure in a certain period of time. Now it's just far enough offshore to where we're not really going to see any precip from it. The Cape and Islands could get hit with a little bit of wet weather, but Western Mass will stay dry. However, as it intensifies, uh, it will be between high pressure and strong low pressure. We will get a strong wind out of the north, and that will help to funnel in colder air. So that's when we get our brutal wind chills while the system passes off to our east. Now, once we go into Sunday, high pressure will kind of dominate. It'll still be dry and very cold, but at least a quieter weather day. We're watching our next coastal storm, which some models have this thing coming up the coast. Some have them going well out to sea. Yesterday, the storm was going out to sea. Today, it's coming up the coast. So there's no consistency with the forecast yet, which means it's a wait and see. We're, we're trying to wait and see if there's a pattern that develops where models do keep it trending up the coast. But if it does come up our way, we could be dealing with a winter storm. So that'll be something to watch for Monday of next week. Uh, I, hopefully, most of you have the day off So uh, for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so you won't have to worry too much about it. So we've got rising temperatures quickly tomorrow. We're going to be back above freezing in the valley in the afternoon, so we'll get some melting. Still in the upper 20s for the hill towns, but that's pretty typical for this time of year. And then Thursday, we get even milder. More cloud cover expected, but temps will hit low to mid 40s out toward the uh, southeastern portions of west of southern New England. Western Mass will be a little bit cooler, but we could still get close to 40 in Springfield. So right now our weather remains dry, and as we continue going forward into tomorrow, we'll have some sunshine, some scattered clouds, and breezes will start to increase out of the south-southwest. A breezy day overall, but again, a seasonable one. Wind will become lighter Wednesday night into Thursday, and Thursday we will see more clouds, but again, a milder day expected. No wet weather on tap through the end of the week. Even Friday, you can see that coastal storm may bring some rain or snow to the Cape and Islands, but for us, it'll be dry and blustery. Friday temperatures crash, and Friday night, we drop to near zero with wind chills potentially at advisory levels. Very cold Saturday and Saturday night. Sunday, still quite chilly, and keeping an eye on that coastal storm for Monday. Chris?